Alright, for this example, we have a pretty involved equation. This equation has the variables x, y, and d in it, and we want to solve for d. So what I want to look at first is just where does d even appear? So on the left-hand side of the equation, we see d appearing um, in the second term. Um, and then on the right-hand side of the equation, we see it here buried inside a parentheses um, with stuff outside of the parentheses multiplying it. And so we've got to um, first take a look at this right-hand side and figure out how we can unbury this D that's buried inside the parentheses. So looking at the right-hand side, what we have here is um, a whole block of stuff sitting outside of the set of parentheses for which D is buried in. And so that whole block of stuff, the four times the parentheses, x squared plus y squared, all raised to the third, that block needs to be distributed across the plus sign um, that's within the parentheses just so that we can get rid of that set of parentheses and unbury the D. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and copy the left-hand side of the equation here. So we've got sine of y plus we've got x times cosine of y. Those are two things there multiplied by the D. Um, on the left-hand side of the equation. And then on the right side of the equation, um, we're going to distribute. So we've got a 4 times the x squared plus y squared raised to the third. That's going to be multiplied by 2x for the first um, term in the sum. And then we are going to distribute the 4 times x squared plus y squared uh, raised to the third power um, across that plus sign. Um, so it's going to be multiplied by 2y uh, times d. Okay. So now we've unburied the d. Um, it's no longer inside of the parentheses. So the two d's, we've got one on each side of the equation. So uh, let's clean up, um, do a little bit more cleanup on the right-hand side. Uh, just go ahead and completing the two multiplications that we have. So I'm going to carry on my sine of y. Uh, plus x times cosine of y times d. And then um, here we've just got this plus sign right here that's separating the two terms that are on the right-hand side. So what comes before the plus sign, um, we've got a 4 times a factor raised to the third power times 2 times x. So I'm going to go ahead and combine here by multiplying the 4 times the 2x. So that would give us uh, 8x times that factor x squared plus y squared to the third. Okay? And that same sort of thing is what I'm going to do um, for the term that follows the plus sign. So we've got a 4 times a factor raised to the third power times 2y times d. So I'm going to go ahead and do the multiplication of the 4 times 2y to give me 8y. I've got the factor uh, x squared plus y squared raised to the third power, and then I've got the d. So now we've got our two d's, one on each side. So what we want to do is, um, to, because our goal here is to isolate the d, get d by itself. So what we need to do is get all terms that have d on one side and all terms that don't have d on the other. And so this term here, sine of y, I'm going to move it over to the right-hand side. I'm going to keep the term that follows it, the x times cosine of y times d, there on the left-hand side as it's a um, term that has d in it. Um, on the right-hand side of the equation, this first term, um, 8x times the factor raised to the third power, it doesn't have d, so we're going to leave it. But uh, this term right here that does have d in it, I'm going to move it to the right-hand side. And I'm actually going to do both of those movements at the same time. Um, so we've got uh, left over here on the left-hand side, we've got the x times the cosine of y. Uh, times d, and I'm going to bring over the um, the term that starts with the 8y. So since uh, on the right-hand side we have plus 8y times some more stuff, we're going to subtract it uh, to get it to the other side. So we would have minus 8y times the x squared plus y squared raised to the third power times the d. Um, and then here on the uh, right-hand side, we have the 8x times the x squared plus y squared uh, raised to the third power. That's on the right-hand side. It stays on the right-hand side. But remember, we were also going to take this sine of y that was on the left, and we need to subtract it over to the right-hand side. 
So now we're close. We've got all terms that have the common factor of D on the left-hand side. So I'm going to pull that common factor out. So I've got D times, and do a big set of parentheses there. I've got X times cosine of Y um, minus our 8Y times X squared plus Y squared raised to the third power. Uh, that's what we have left over as the factor sitting next to the D when we pull the common factor of D out. And then I'm just going to copy over my right-hand side. So I've got 8X times X squared plus Y squared raised to the third power minus sine of Y. And so now I am a baby step away from finished. If I want D by itself, all of the stuff that's sitting there in parentheses multiplied by the D, we're going to divide both sides by, of the equation by, um, by that stuff that's in the parentheses to get our D by itself. So in the end, we've got D is equal to, and it's going to be a big fraction there, uh, the top there would be uh, the stuff that's on the right-hand side. So we've got 8x times x squared plus y squared raised to the third power minus sine of y. Okay, And then I'm going to divide um, both sides by the stuff that's in parentheses next to the d. Uh, and so that allows the re reducing to happen on the left-hand side to get D by itself, and we've got to have it there in the denominator on the right-hand side. So we've got X times cosine of Y um, minus 8Y times the X squared plus Y squared raised to the third power um, to complete our solving for D in this uh, fairly complicated, or I'll say fairly involved, equation.